Version 8 Plant 8 Plant O added 3 new features. Object saving, prize bubbles, and the music sequencer. Let's go through each in that order. You can save configurations of objects using the object saver. Only instances of the music object, microchip or magic mouse can be saved at the moment, but that may change in the future. Select the object saver and click on the supported object. Congratulations, you saved your first object. There is no limit on how many objects you can have saved, except for the amount of disk space you have, of course. In the list you can select a saved object, then click in the free space to place it down. You can press delete to permanently delete a saved object, and insert the rename one. Next up are prize bubbles. They are the backbone of most giveaway levels, at least in LPP. They act like score bubbles, giving you score on contact. You cannot set it though, you will always get 50 score from each prize bubble. You might ask what makes them different from score bubbles, other than them being twice as big and always giving a score of 50. The prize property. Click on it to bring up a list of objects you have saved. Here you can select what will be given to a player once they touch a bubble. Once you do select a prize, the green circle in the middle will turn into a nice gift. How cute. Note that as of making this video there is no duplicate check, meaning that you might get another prize you already have. Not nice. Here's how getting a prize looks like by the way. It is no ordinary music object. It does not play a hard code song. You compose your own music. It is. Okay sorry. The music sequencer. Go into its properties and click edit. If you are using the web version a new tab will open instead. Anyway, this is a bit too cluttered. Let's stretch it out a bit. Much better. Let's take a closer look now. Sequence, pattern, channel. What do they mean? A music sequencer song is made out of patterns arranged in a sequence, and patterns are made out of channels, and channels out of notes. A channel can be assigned to an instrument to change how the notes are going to sound, and in which ear will the channel be heard most can be adjusted. These three listen buttons let you preview how either a specific channel, pattern, or the whole song are going to sound. Here you can do various stuff to a channel, as well as set a musical scale to work in. Here's a list of scales you can use. The adapt button tries to make sure all notes are correct in the selected scale. And here you can design your own instrument, or use one from the presets box. You can either use a generated one, or a sample. Only unsigned 8-bit and signed 16-bit web files are supported. Stereo samples will be down next to mono. I think it's obvious that to place notes you just have to click on the grid. You will also get a preview of how the assigned instrument will sound playing that note. If you click on a cell inside the dark area, the channel size will increase. You cannot have more than one note playing at once in a channel. If you want to play a chord unfortunately you will have to make two more channels to play every note in the chord. Once you're done making your song, click the done button, then wait for the game to render it. The rendering time depends on how complex your song is. Now just walk into the activation radius and hear your masterpiece. Cheese decoration. Anyway, thanks for watching.